Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you how to get an S rank in Mission 50 Extreme Sahelanthropus uh, in Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. Now I highly recommend bringing a machine gun uh, for your uh, secondary weapon and a, a rocket launcher, the CGM 25 is your primary weapon on the right hand side. And uh, as soon as the mission starts, you want to run up the hill and you want to manipulate him and bring the sword uh, tactic out and then you want to run right behind him and you want to hit the big giant uh, white pods on his back because they do the damage against him. That's where you want to hit the whole match if you can. Hit him right in their bloody white spots because they do some severe damage when you hit them there. Just watch it for his flamethrower attack if you're close to him. Whenever I run out of my CGM bullets, I've got a grenade launcher as I, my other left hand side the uh, primary, uh, primary weight of my, and I fire the grenade launcher and those white pods as well. So that is the main thing you want to do is manipulate them into doing some sort of attack where you can run behind them and always keep attacking back, those big giant white pods. And then you want to run to the... Uh, obviously trying to avoid this flame flamethrower and bounce. And you want to run down and... Uh, get to the supply drop zone. Now a lot of his attacks will kill you in one hit. So just be wary you're not getting hit as much. Whenever he brings up the red mist, you want to put on your night vision goggles. Right. Always go for those white pods in his back. You really want to be hitting with a CGM. You know what I was doing there. And my CGM uh, rocket launcher isn't even fully upgraded to the, the final level. It's only on level 4. There's, uh, there's a level 6 version. Whenever you run out of bullets, just make your way to the next kind of supply drop zone. Now if for some reason uh, uh, you've got him down to his health really low and uh, you need to, uh, you don't have any bullets and you can't make it to the supply drop because he's firing the red missiles or the railgun, then you want to just manually call a supply drop and wait behind cover, like behind a rock or something. And that will replenish your bullets that way. But you want to try and manipulate him into using that sword technique and then get behind him and just keep hitting his back because that's where his weak spot is. Where those big giant white pods were. Like, I've been lucky man, they nearly got me there. It might take you a couple of times to get the technique down. And you'll notice that I've not used the machine gun yet, but I'm only going to use the machine gun when the floating boy comes out of the, uh, out of the machine and, and it goes into like reflex mode and he starts flying towards you. That's when you want to get the machine gun out and shoot uh, the floating boy to stop that kind of attack. Right, so he's he's brought his red uh, rail gun, with a kind of red laser sight, so I can't make it to replenish my bullets, so I'm going to have to manually call in uh, more supplies, where am I? Right, 
for a few decoys out there just so he's got a different target to go for. Supplies requested. Right, and I'm calling supplies when I'm on. Just stay there until you get the, the supply drop because it's not worth risking because he'll kill you in one hit with that real gun if you run about. You can do it, boss. Bloody hell. You might really fucking stood on me then. Look at that man. No, he stood me and then he burned me with a flame for all he's, he's beat up D Dog. D Dog's like that. Hey. I still want to manipulate him into doing the sword attack so you can run behind him when he slams into the ground. Right, that's that slow motion thing. You want to switch to your machine gun and shoot the floating boy, and that'll stun him. Then you want to run behind him and shoot the behind me, but I'm going to shoot his head in now. Right, he's getting the sword out, so manipulate him and they've thrown that sword down and then run behind him. And then just whack, whack the hell out of the white pods at his back. Right, he's, he's trying to fly towards me again. Just shoot the floating boy with a machine gun. Then re you really want to reload your machine gun, I didn't reload it there. Put on the CGM 25 and fire the back. Right, he's doing that slow motion thing again, whip out your machine gun, fire at the floating boy, that'll stun him. I'm going to run over and get that supply drop and replenish my rockets. Oh, he nearly got me there. Yeah, I can't, I can't stay stationary and heal because that's why, because the bloody things would have got me. Switch your machine gun, shoot the floating boy when he appears. That'll knock out uh, the monster and just go behind him and hit all his pods. Right, manipulate the sword attack, run behind him when he slams it to the ground and attack his back when he's sitting there uh, yeah. right, and that's me got him then just skip the cutscenes well any cutscenes that you can skip Supply drop complete. Development project has been added. Look, I got the accomplished trophy. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. The one and as you can see, I get the S rank. Okay. So thank you for watching YouTube. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And look, I get the elite trophy as well for getting the S rank in every mission. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Uh, hopefully, you can get the S rank as well. Good luck. I'll see you later.